and we're back again with the cut and short thing. I apologise, it kind of breaks the flowy things, but it's it's either Nvidia's fault or it's Windows 7 basically limiting my file size to 4 gigs, so it cuts the videos roughly every 15 minutes, and every time I edit things seem to go badly wrong so I prefer to just try and upload raw footage where I can until I get better at this whole fucking editing malarkey. But we're still following it if you're if you're actually following this you're you're getting for A to B. This looks ridiculous. <laughs> um Did I get RCS thrusters and stuff? No I didn't. Bugger. Struts these are important because last time, as we saw, it was flying everywhere. They were kind of just bouncing around. Let's get these ones down here somewhere. And let's get our aerodynamic property. Tail fin there. Do I tail fin up top? Because that normally s tries to send it end over end. That's centerized. That's off center, I knew that'd be the case. A bit there. Perfect. <laughs> this thing looks funny. Um, w O J W G W G W G W G. What are we calling this? Pod. WG pod. Yep, who's flying it? We'll take chaos. So we will put in. We will put in. We will put in. We will put in. We will put in bam. Bambuka. So bam doesn't die. <laughs> if if something does go wrong, let's hope I can stage quick enough to get that pod away from the burning wreck. Public service announcement, bam if you die, I'm not sorry. Jettison fire, jettison. Okay. SAS on. <laughs> let's go. And we're off. Dun, 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 dun. Are these actually numbered or do they all say, oh, they all say free? We're reaching sub supersonic. We're through supersonic. This thing is pulling about 5G. <laughs> 9,000 meters. Let's start getting it on here, camber. We're getting re entry effects on the way up. Right, here we go, brace. Oh, 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 oh. We're clear. It feels a little bit. It wants to do something else apart from what I'm telling it to do. Come on, get over. What? Oh Jesus. Let's cut that. Got a cracking apple apps. This thing just went. Didn't even notice that it was this high. Well we go 85 and then 186 for some magical reason. Let's tone that back a bit, shall we? Then we've got 151. 119, that's acceptable. Let's turn it to the manoeuvre. This, thing this thing's got way better authority. The gyroscopes in the command pod are a lot better than the gyroscopes on the rover body. Well, the probe body. <laughs> Making sure his helmet's on the jet. Can we get a crew report? No signs. Basically what we want to do is circulise this orbit with enough fuel to get them back, hopefully. Because we don't want BAM trapped up in space, that'd be bad. What's our fuel setting at just now? Oh, 
have we hell got enough fuel man let's get it up to our apple apses and try for there running dangerously low on fuel here we got a peri apps yet come on give me a peri apps 50, 60, 70, there we go cut it, how much fuel we go, oh edgy Right, bam. In space near Kerbin, you're not going to get anything really interesting for that, are you? Observe the mystery goo. This science right there. I feel like I've done this already. Log temperature. I was jack shit there. Log pressure. EVA. Got their space box. Go ahead and turn on my jetpack. Oh, there we go, R for RCS. Woohoo! Keep the experiment. Look at this. Whee! Does this guy have a fuel limit? Oh, Jesus, he does. Oh, oh sugar. Now let's get him back. Back in the pot. <laughs> back to the spaceship. Grab. Ah, not quite. Is there somewhere? Grab. There you go. Get back in your boat. Is that really all the science we got? Oh well. Let's turn pro grade. Sorry, let's turn retrograde. Speed up time. Just gonna skip her in. And we need to get our apple apses down with what fuel we've got. Which is gonna be interesting. <laughs> this is gonna be sketchy. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Shit. Overcooked that a wee bit. Don't want to land on the dark side again, so we'll turn pro grade again. Actually, putting a wee bit of thought into the landing zone with this one. We took off for there. So we went to 8,000. That's perfect. So let's just decouple. From that, turn retrograde, there we go, and then we can time accelerate until we get around. Apparently we're just going to enter the atmosphere here. Which is slightly sketchy. I thought we would have entered further room. Oh well, we'll roll with it. Starting to enter the upper atmosphere. We're actually going to get to see the sunrise or the horizon. Dun dun. It's like the universal opening credits for a film. Re-entry. There's the sun.
Looks like the battery lights changed orange there. It was as if they were getting overdrived or something. I'm surprised those solar panels haven't they snapped off. I thought they would have just been phew, gone. Through the atmosphere. Let's jettison that and deploy our cut shoot to try and slow us down a bit. Did this get stuck? <coughs> we may have accidentally welded the heat shield back onto the bottom of the spacecraft. your opening altitude 1000 let's crank you up to about 2000 at least we're landing on the bright side and it's more flat than the last time thank fuck right, is that 100% welded on I will. oh no there it goes bye that's how fast we were flying down there is that going to explode when it hits the deck Team Rocket's blasting off again! Oh! <laughs> I saw his shadow there. So that parachute deployed nicely. And we'll just time accelerate our way down. We're going about 6 metres a second, which is quite mundane. We didn't really get much science. Do we get a crew report for here? Kerbold's desert, see what I mean? We've been here already. Reset the experiment. Do we have a temperature? Reset the experiment. No, because we recovered all the stuff for last time, didn't we? And then once we get low enough, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to deploy like the airbags. So we are about, where's our shadow? Right there, coming up. And secondary shoot deployment. Da da da. Another happy landing. I think we're going to need to send a probe into the sun. I think that's what we'll do next episode. Sending a probe into the sun sounds fun. What sight? Wait, what? <laughs> EVA report, recovery of the vessel, and mystery goo observations. Apparently, we got a decent amount of science for that. 121 science. So we can get something else. We could get. Smaller separators. Space exploration, so ladders, wheels, and the hitchhiker storage pod. Or we could get advanced inlay stabilizer, the Mark 1 lander can, RCS. Let's get the RCS. I think. Oh, we've got the advanced aerodynamics where we could build a plane. Well, I say we could build a plane, we could build a better plane. Where's the better landing gear? Because normally you get like standard landing gear. Do they come, like the ones come with that. Oh, we got the better landing gear there, that's nice. So we could get the planes which lead to supersonic flight which lead to high altitude flight heavy aerodynamics that's useful in the future experimental aerodynamics we should get aerospace techs there we go the ramjet well the rapier engine they're good because they you can get an open cycle so it just runs like a normal jet engine and then you can get closed cycle which runs off of um, 
oxidizer and fuel, so it's basically turning it into a rocket engine that can work in an atmosphere. But I think I'll pick this one, the RCS. No, we'll pick the planes and then next episode we will build a better space plane. So I'll catch you all in the next episode.